and he just came up and shared something with me, which I think is really important and relevant. Just a few minutes before we come to the close, for you to take away and be praying about it because I think it leads really nicely into tomorrow. And I just, I think God's just so awesome, isn't he? Yeah. Where was you at? I actually came up to pray for me, but I talked to him and I never got to pray for him. So. <laughs> Um, uh, those of you who've been around for a while will, you know, will know that Beeson was built around a very charismatic figure, an individual um, who laid the foundations, who and, and has been very powerful, James, right? And, though, and uh, you know, we've learned a lot from him. Um, but some years back, James knew that he had to step back, and he. He produced these, these pictures for us, which was the existing uh, structure being a, like a wheel with, with a hub and spokes, right? But that had to change, and he took the hub out, and then all the different besoms were sort of joined up by all, all around by spokes. And I, I think that he got the idea, and he knew what he, what he wanted, but actually that wasn't the structure. I think it was manufactured and I think what God, what I was feeling was that God is, um, wants something much more organic and he's bringing it to birth that, that Beesom is no longer going to be based around a single character, a charismatic figure, but he's going to be much more organic, he's going to be full of life and I, I just felt it, it's coming to birth. And the problem is it's much easier to manufacture something, you bolt it together and it's done. Bringing something to birth is much, much harder and messier. <coughs> and I think that I wanted to encourage and pray for Nick and Tony and some of the others really that it, it's a tough job sometimes and a messy job and painful. But actually I just felt God was saying he is bringing it to birth and it's going to be the same values the same the same spirit but a whole new way of doing things it's not based around one person it's based around all of us it's going to be much more homogeneous it's going to be uh, much more real in life that's really what i want to say and I, I did just want to can i just pray because that's what i did come up to do is i i, I just wanted to pray for um, nick because I know Nick has come in and he's worked and he's working and working and, and we, we've got the, the national team and, and the trustees and I, I just want to thank you for every one of them Lord and thank you and I just pray Lord that um, you will give them encouragement at every point now Lord that they will see that things are coming to birth that's new and fresh and organic because it's organic and full of life it will grow in its own way. Amen. Amen. Uh, thank you, Andy. Well, it's it's 9.30, and um, I would encourage you to take away what Andy's just brought, because, yeah, birthing is, is, is messy and it's painful, uh, but it's glorious as well, the outcome. And if you are in Biza, or thinking of starting a Biza, or bringing others into a beason. What is God asking of you? What is God asking of you? And I would dare to say it's not more of the same. Because if you want to go on with God, it's going up. <laughs> and that's a challenge. But that's where he wants us to go. So we will wind up tonight. If I may, I'll just pray for you all. I hope you've been encouraged tonight. The Friday night of these Bees and Family gatherings is always just about, for those who can make it, just setting the world to one side, of just coming to God's presence, of just preparing us for what's coming on Saturday. So Father God, I, th I thank you. I thank you, Lord God, for, for all of those here tonight. Father God, we bow our knee to you. We 
thank you that you are such a loving, gracious God. Abba, Father. And Father, I ask that you would bring upon each and every person here tonight a really deep, peaceful sleep. And that tomorrow, Lord God, we may go onward and upward with you. And we may all be in a place of laying ourselves open to you to say, yes, Lord, send me. In Jesus' name.